Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty um, lemon uh, peel stitch beanie. I love the lemon peel stitch. I think it's a, one of the most beautiful stitches. And this is going to be a really, really warm beanie that's made with this. So um, continue watching to learn how to make this um, super warm and cute lemon peel stitch beanie. The yarn that I'm using here is the Red Heart Super Saver yarn. It is a um, Aryan Fleck is the name of it. And then I'm also I'm crocheting two together so because I want it to be really thick and really warm. So I'm also using a brown that um, coordinates with it here. I am using my 7mm hook since I'm crocheting two together. I am using some scissors. I will need... Um, my measuring tape right here and I will also need my chart and guys I also have the size chart here you can find this on my community page and I am going to make probably the adult extra large because um, it is for an adult male so that means um, the crown diameter needs to be seven inches um, it also means that the hat height needs to be eight and a half inches. I'll probably add just a little bit more to that because I um, might make it where it folds up, but I haven't 100% decided on that yet. So what I'm going to do to start out with is I'm going to make a um, magic ring. And again, this is using the lemon pill stitch, so we'll need to be doing increases um, while we are working this. So first, I'm going to chain one in my magic ring. And I'm going to make eight total stitches in the magic ring. So my first is going to be a single crochet. And my next is going to be a double crochet. Then next single. Then next double. Next single. Next double, and that should be six right there. We're going to make a total of eight those. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So next single, and then next double. All right, so now I'm going to pull this tight to close. And I'm going to work this in the round, so I should have told you before this that you actually are going to need a stitch marker. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a single crochet, this is a double crochet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to increase this by two each time, so you need to just work two stitches into one stitch. So this next round will have a total of 16 stitches. So the first stitch here should be a double crochet and then a single crochet in this stitch and then the next one here would be a double crochet and then a single crochet so you kind of work that all the way around like that so here I'm going to work a double crochet here and then I'm also going to work a single crochet here and then the next will be a double crochet and actually I'm going to go ahead and mark this first stitch just so I don't lose count of my rounds. So you're on round two, and again, you'll have a total of 16 stitches. So then I'm going to do another double crochet here, and a single crochet. I'm going to do a double crochet, and a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. And sometimes that'll work its way out a little bit, but that's okay. Just pull it tight again if it does. And double crochet. Then a single crochet. A double crochet. Then a single crochet. Double crochet. And then a single crochet. And we have one more stitch here. So I'm going to do one more, a double crochet. 
and then a single crochet. So that should be 16 stitches. So let's count this to make sure we have the right number of stitches. There's 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. All right, so that should be right there. Yep, that is right. All right, so on this round here, we started with a double crochet and the next one is a single crochet so now we're going to have to do two stitches in the first and one stitch in the next. Now this is where it can get a bit complicated at and where you might have to change up your strategy just a bit but remember each of these rounds um, you're increasing, increasing by eight stitches total. So here I'm first stitch I'm going to do here is actually going to be a double crochet so there's one double crochet. Let me mark the stitch. And then a single crochet. And in this next one, we're going to do a double crochet. And then so the next stitch, we're going to start out with a single crochet. So we're going to do two stitches in this one, and then a double crochet. And if you don't know how to do the lemon peel stitch at all, I've got a video on that, by the way. So this next stitch here should start out with a double crochet, but now we're going to have to do two of the increases in one stitch here. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go single crochet here. and then a double crochet there. Since I'm trying to keep my uh, alignment correctly here. So then again, I'm going to have to do this more than one time. Let me think about this for a second. Double, single, double. Alright, so now I've got it lined back up right. So this Next stitch is a double crochet, so I've got a single crochet in this one, and then I've got a double crochet in the next one. So here again, since you're only needing um, eight increases, I'm going to make a couple of these without the regular increases just because that looks better that way. So you see this first stitch, I already have two increases there, then I have uh, one single, then I have two increases, and then two increases. So that's going to make me have three increases so far. So then I ended up working two just straight without increases. And this is kind of where you have to really pay attention. So the next one I'm going to do one single stitch and then I'm going to do a double stitch. So by the way this looks, the next stitch I should be making is a single, but that is a single. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another increase right beside this one. So we're going to do one single crochet, then we're going to do a double crochet right there. So now how many increases I have is I have the one here, so the first one, then I have two, three, four, five increases now. So then on this next one, I'm going to do a, so I just did a double crochet there, and the next one is a double crochet, so I'm going to do a single crochet here, then I'm going to do a double crochet in the next, and then on this one, I'm going to again do a single crochet and double crochet in the same one. So I'm going to do a single crochet here and then a double crochet here also. And then this next one should be a single crochet, but I have a single crochet right here, so I'm going to go ahead and do the single crochet and double crochet in this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and work my single crochet in this stitch. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in this stitch. And let me count how many that I have again so far. So, so far I have 
worked. One, two, wait, all right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, so far I have seven. So here, the next one, I'm just going to work a single crochet in that one. And then I'm going to finish off doing the double again. So I'm going to work a double crochet in this one. And then a single crochet in this one. And that gives me eight total that are um, eight total increases in this round, which is really round three now. So then I'm going to take my stitch marker out. And this round should have 24, so we can count that. One, two, three, four. 24. All right, so we have 24 stitches on this round, and we counted them to make sure it was accurate. And so I'm going to have to do this several times since this is going to be a larger um, one here. So now on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to make a. We're just going to do another increase, so we're going to do a double crochet here. And then a single crochet here. And again, this round will have to have eight total increases. So at the end, we'll have 32 total stitches. I'm putting my stitch marker there. And now this next round will have a double crochet here. So you have double, single, double. And then this next one will have a single crochet because we're going to go ahead and do our increase now. So it's going to have a single crochet and then a double crochet. So that's our second increase. And then this one again, I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet and then double crochet. So that's three increases so far. And now I'm just going to work my single crochet in right here. So single crochet. The next one is a single there. So we're going to work a double into that one. And a double crochet there. And then this next one. So we've done two straight so far. So this next one is going to be two in one stitch. So this is going to be a single crochet and then a double crochet. And then next we're going to do a single crochet here and then a double crochet. So that should be five increases now. So the next one is going to be a single crochet and then a double crochet in the next stitch. So the next one we're going to try another increase. So we're going to do a single crochet in this stitch then a double crochet in this stitch. So my next one will be a single crochet here, and then a double crochet. And then now I have one, two, three, For five increases so far, I believe that's right. One, two, three, four. Now I've got five, six. That's not right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven increases so far. So now this next one's going to be a double crochet and then a single crochet and then the next one's going to be yes a single crochet and then you're going to do a double crochet we're going to this next one we're going to do our very last increase in so you can see how it's turning out now so now we're going to do a single crochet here no, and a double crochet here. And 
And then we're going to do a single crochet here and then a double crochet in the same stitch and then we're going to have to do this one more time though so we're going to have to have more than the stitches that we should have had there's one two three four five Six. Where's the other one at? <sighs> so we're going to go ahead and do another single crochet and then a double crochet to even this out. And then we're going to do a single crochet and double crochet. And then single crochet and then double crochet. So now we're all evened out. So you can see right here. Okay, and that round had round thir 32 stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four rounds done, or yes, rounds. So the next one should be a single crochet so we're going to do one single crochet in this first one we're going to mark the stitch and then this one should have 40 and then we're going to do a double crochet in the next one and we're going to do the first three and then we're going to do a single crochet in this one and then we're going to do a double crochet in this one so the first four actually is what we're going to do here so we're going to do the first four just straight across and then we're going to make our increase here so we're going to do a single crochet here and then we're going to do a double crochet and then we're going to make one more increase here so we're going to do a single crochet and we're going to do a double crochet and so that is two increases right in a row there and now we're going to work our pattern so this should have eight total by the way so a single crochet then a double crochet then a single crochet and then here I'm going to go ahead and do this increase again so we're going to work a double crochet then a single crochet so that is three increases right there and now we're going to do a double crochet and then a single crochet so that is four increases total that we've done now so now we're going to go ahead and work in the same pattern just do a double crochet into the single and a single into the double. So crochet. All right. So here, so that is. Let's see how many do we have here. So, four. So I'm going to go ahead and work another one. A double crochet here. And then a single crochet here. And then the next one, I'm going to go ahead and do the increase. So that is a double crochet and a single crochet. And then now we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet. And then a single crochet in the same stitch. And then this will be six increases that we've done. So now we're going to go ahead and work in the pattern again. Double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. And it's okay if it gets a little like it's kind of looking square a little bit. That's okay because when we start working all the way down it won't look that way. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and do now a double crochet. And then we're going to work this other one. Let's see here. What do I think? That might be a good place to work the next, the last two. Maybe we'll do, yeah, maybe we'll do one or two more before we work those last two. So now I'm just doing single crochet and double crochet. And again, if it's looking a little bit too square, that will even out later, just FYI. And so now we're going to need to make our increase. So we're going to do, because it's looking kind of wonky, that's how I know. Like this is not looking straight up and down. It's looking sideways like this. And that's how I know I need to do that um, increase. That it's going to look kind of funny if I don't. So I'm going to do a single crochet, then a double crochet. And then the next one I'm going to do an increase too. So I'm going to do a single crochet. And then a double crochet. And then I'm just going to work in the pattern the rest of the way down. Wait, is that the right pattern? Oh, you know what? I worked into that stitch. Oopsie. So double crochet in that stitch, I should say. Now I'm going to work the pattern. So single crochet double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet. So again, it's looking a little bit square, but that is going to be okay because this is going to stretch nicely. So let's see how many inches. I know we're not close to being done yet. We got about five and a half inches so far. So we got a little bit more to go. So this next one, we're gonna work in the pattern again. So we're gonna go ahead and do a double crochet. I'm gonna mark that stitch. And this row will have 48 stitches in it. So let's count one, two, three, four, five. So we've done five rows, so this is row number six. All right, so this one is going to have a double crochet, and then we're gonna do a single in the next. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my increase right here. And so now I'm going to do a double crochet, and then a single, and then double again. and a single. And then I'm going to kind of work straight in those stitches. So I've got two of my increases made. Each round we increase by eight. So I'm going to go single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, oops, oof, did I do all right, guys, sorry about that. My camera ran out of battery. So here I'm doing, I've already done two increases. So I'm doing a double crochet next, single and next, double and next, and single and next. And again, all I'm doing is repeating that. So double and next. So we're going to go ahead and do our increase here this time. So let's do one single, and then one double, and then one single, and one double. So we've done four increases so far. So now let's go ahead and work in pattern. So one single, one double. This yarn is getting all crazy on me here. I don't know how the other end of the round got pulled up, but it did somehow. Okay, I'm doing a single and a double. A single and a double.
Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do a single and a double. A single and a double. A single and a double. A single. double single so what I'm trying to do is not put uh, the doubles in the same area I'm trying to spread them out to different areas so I'll do another one here and another one here so a single and then a double alright so now I'm going to do two in um, this next stitch so I'm going to go ahead and do a single and then a double, and then a single, and a double, and now that's a total of six increases on this one, and now I'm going to make my other crease increase down here. So here I'm going to go ahead and go single and double. So you're just working in each a double crochet from the last round you're working a single crochet into it and with each double crochet in the last round you're working a um, single into that one single double single double Alright, so now I'm going to make my last, see how it evens it out when you stagger them? So here I'm going to make my last increases. So I'm going to make a single there and a double. And then again, I'm going to do a single and a double. And now I'm going to do a single in this one and a double in the last one. So now this is row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So row 6 should have 48 stitches in it. So let's see how big we, are got, we have gotten so far now. Uh, we're almost to 7. So one more row should do us really, really well. So let's go ahead. We'll do one more row. So the next row will end up having 56 stitches in it. So I'm going to do my... I'm going to do one somewhere, let's see here, probably one somewhere around this area, then this area, maybe here, here, or maybe here, 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 and here. That's probably what I'm going to try to go for. So here on this next one, so this is going to be our final round. And this is going to be round seven. So I did a single on the first one, I'm going to do a double on the next. And I'm just working it in the pattern, a single in the next, double in the next. And here I've got where I've worked my two, so I've got a single and a double. And then a single and a double. Okay, so how far do I want to go? I probably want to go about here-ish. So let's work a couple more. So let's go the single and a double. Okay, so let's work our first increases right in these two stitches. And of course the next will be that. Then somewhere around here, somewhere around here. So now we're going to work a single crochet and a double, same stitch. Then a single crochet and double, same stitch. Now we're going to work in the pattern again. So right now what we've done is we have made a total of four increases so far. So now we're just going to work in the pattern. So a single and a double. A single and a double. A single. Oops, that was the wrong place to go through that. So a single. And a double. 
what did I have? Single and a double. And let's see, I wanted to do them um, right about here. So let's do a couple more and then we'll go ahead and do our increases again. Single, double. And then we're going to go ahead and do our increase. So we're going to do one single, then one double and one stitch. And then the next stitch we're going to do another single crochet, then a double crochet. So now we have oh approximately six increases I believe. So the next one we're going to put it somewhere over here, maybe here even. Let's just see how it works out. Single, double, single, double, single, oops, long stitch, double, single, double, single, Double, oops, single, double, single, oops, double, so just a little bit more to go, single, double, Single, double. Okay, let's see here. So let's do a couple more and then we'll do our last increase. Single, double. Okay, so our last increase here, we're going to do one single, then one double, then the same stitch. And then another time, we're going to do one single and one double, same stitch. And then we're going to finish this round off. Double. Single. Alright, we're done with this round now. So this is round seven. So let's go ahead and measure this one more time just to make sure. It's probably a little bit bigger than we need, but that's okay. It's about seven and a half, so it's a little bit bigger than what we need. All right, now we're just going to work straight into the stitches, no increases, nothing like that, until we get to about the eight and a half mark. And I'm still going to do my mark it with my stitch markers, that way I know where I started out at. And again, I'm just working in the round here, so I'm not joining at each uh, each stitch. Again, I'm just now I'm just going to go around and around until I get to the first one that I made. Okay, guys, I'm speeding this up now. So just remember that you are making a um, single crochet into your double crochet from your previous round and a double crochet into your single crochet from the previous round and you just go around and around like that until you get to the length that you need and guys if you're liking this video please consider subscribing to my channel it would really mean the world to me thanks everyone
All right, so I'm running out of this yarn, so I've got to grab another skein of yarn. Now, here's the thing. I've got some of these where it has a little bitty bit and that's it. So I'm gonna to try to use up some of this before I do a brand new one. Right here, I'm just going to attach these. This is the best way to attach yarn so they don't come out. So just make a knot in one end around one yarn. And then the other yarn, you do the same thing Go in a circle, make a knot. I have a video on this if you don't know how to do this, by the way. And then you pull it close, pull it tight. And here I'm just going to snip off this right here. And really you won't even be able to see this. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to continue on.
but at least probably what, another inch to go, something like that. Yeah, so we need to be about to here. So we got another inch to go, so probably a couple of more rows to go. All right, so we have one more row to crochet, and this time I'm going to do a decrease, like just a couple, maybe one on the front and one on the back. Um, that way it fits more snug on the um, around the forehead. That's why I'm doing decreases. So again, I'm going to mark my stitch. And I'm going to do probably about 10, and then I'll do a decrease. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and do a decrease. So what I'm going to do is the next stitch should be a double crochet, so I'm going to feel like I'm doing a double crochet, pull through two, and then, oh wait, yeah, and then I'm going to go into this next stitch that should be a single crochet, I'm going to pull up one there, and then I'm going to pull through all three of those. So now my next stitch will be a double crochet here, <coughs> excuse me. So my next stitch will be a double crochet because I did a single or I did a double there and then a single. I put those two into one stitch. So now I'm going to work my pattern. Again, I'm only doing a couple of decreases because I don't need a lot. I just want it to fit a little more snugly around the forehead. That way I know it's super warm. All right, so let's go ahead and do another decrease. So we're going to, next stitch would be a double crochet. So we're going to do like we were doing a double, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to go through this next stitch would be a single, and then we're going to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull on, pull up one, and then we're going to pull through all three. And that's it. It's pretty easy doing um, the decrease with the popcorn stitch. So now I'm just going to work my pattern all the way back around.
the first stitch that I made. So what I'm going to do now is since the last stitch I just did was a double crochet, I'm just going to make one single crochet into that stitch there. And then I'm going to um, slip stitch to the next stitch and I'm going to fasten this off. It was a little bit long. Pull it through like that. And I think it looks super cute. I love this stitch, guys. It's my new favorite stitch. I'm sure you can tell. So here I'm just going to work these ends in. And there you have it guys, here is your super warm um, lemon peel stitch beanie. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel, like this video. And I hope you enjoyed making this with me guys. It's a bit different making um, the lemon peel stitch increases um, when you're in the middle of your, um, in the middle of your uh, stitches there. Um, instead of doing it on the ends, but I hope you guys liked the video and learned something and um, Thanks for watching and happy hooking everyone